Right, we're in week 10 to 13 stage with Quan, and we are showing you a few mobility things today to increase the range of his shoulder into external rotation and into flexion abduction. So Quan's going to show us what's going on. He's doing really well, um, but he's getting rather tight in his lat. So now that he's got better range, he's nearly got full range almost, but he's still very stiff there because he's been working down here and not being able to go up there. It's a bit short in there, it's a bit tight in there. So on the roller this week, you want to be aiming for the meat of that lat, okay? So it's on the back, obviously, of the shoulder. He's trying to get all this loosened up by directly loading onto the roller. You should see the look on his face. But what we're trying to aim for here is he's not allowed to go further into abduction flexion than, than his shoulder allows, okay? So he's not allowed to get impingement in here. He's just aiming for the lat, and what I would do is roll forward a little bit, Quan. Yeah, roll forward a little bit, then roll back. So he's mobilizing, he's sort of smashing that lat as much as he can tolerate, but not bruising it. And then he can move up and down on the roller as well. So he can roll that roller and get into those grunty areas in there. That's it, yep. <laughs> Without causing, you know, like it's got to be a good pain, it can't be the nasty pain. I definitely don't want any shoulder impingement pain in there. And that will release him to get a little bit more range because he's now working above head. With some of the exercises, he's not loading above head, but he's working range of movement above head. So it's important that we get this looser so he's actually got the range to do it. All right? Now, of course, with everyone who's had a fracture or capsulitis post-surgery, he hasn't got as good an external rotation as he has flexion. So if you line the roller for me. Yep. So with everyone, most cases, the external rotation is the last thing to improve. And most surgeons will agree that this is the hardest thing to get right, but it's the external rotation is what we need to get above head correctly and to stop impingement above your head. So this is two kilos. Doesn't seem like much, but it's enough. Because we're after, this is not just about strengthening. This is about control and range of movement. So when he goes into external rotation, he's using his internal rotators, like subscap, to control the movement. So he goes this way, this is eccentrically loading his internal rotators, and what he's trying to do, is keep on a 45 degree angle here. Okay, so he's trying to keep his elbow in one position, which is control. So he's learning his rotator cuff control, and he's trying to get some passive range into external rotation. So as his internal rotators work, his external rotators have to let go a little bit, and he's getting a little bit of drag from the weight, but you've got to be careful you don't do too much, and that's the holding of those internal rotators prevents him from going too far, and that's where he's going to get a strength way out here. And this is very important for people with dislocations because that's how they dislocate it a lot of the time. They don't want to go in this apprehension position, so the strength needed and the control needed out here where they're vulnerable is very, very important at this stage. Good, come back in. Um, because at weeks 10 to 13 down the track, you're doing a lot of normal things around the house, normal things at work. You need the ability to hold this position and then come forward again under control. And he'll slowly get further and further and further out here. And as the weeks go on, he'll get up to 90 degrees in the next stage and doing external internal rotation way up at 90 degrees. But at the moment, we stay safe down at 45 degrees for this stage for the next three weeks, four weeks. Um, and then we can move up to 90 degrees. Now the last external rotation one I want to show you today is with the band, so let's jump up and do that. So Kwan's been doing this one. Now this is a sort of like a progression from the door. So <coughs> come to here, mate. Jump into there. Now a few tricks with this one is he wants to be sort of keeping the hand where it is and he's going to rotate his body away, okay? Now this isn't a chest stretch, but the chest stretch is on the roller which gets external rotation as well. This is simply trying to get external rotation in the joint, all right? So he's trying to get external rotation in the joint. What he's got to do, when he moves away, he can't let his elbow creep away either. He's got to keep his elbow close to his side so he's getting pure external rotation. Yes, he has to readjust there. Pure external rotation, not a pec stretch. And just let the band hold him back. So he, all he's doing is gripping. He's not trying to fight the band. He's trying to just let that band take him backwards. 
and so he's just rotating that shoulder away and then you need about a minute of that so it's got to be at a level that he can tolerate for a minute and then obviously with the other side okay